Hey guys, it's Miss Rachel. I'm back with another video for you guys. We've been working on our memory verse on Wednesday night. We're going to do that a little bit and then we're going to move on to a really cool activity. But before we get started, I just wanted to say I hope you guys have been having a great week. I hope everything's been going well and that you're doing good in school. Uh, and if you've been sick, I hope you're better and that uh, everybody else is feeling good as well. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to do a verse just a couple times because we have that whole other video you can go back and watch that has the verse many times if you still need to learn it. So uh, if you haven't seen it and you haven't heard this verse at all, pause here, go back and watch the other video, and then you can come back and finish this one. Because uh, trust me, you want to see this cool activity I have for you. All right, so let's start with the verse. We start with where the verse is found. Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Remember, shout that part as loud as you can. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Romans 10, 9. All right, let's do it one more time all the way through. Uh, and remember, you want to shout that Jesus is Lord part, and we want to be excited about you will be saved because that is very exciting news. All right, let's start. Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. No. I am sure you guys did fantastic. And again, if you don't have, if you don't remember it all, or you have trouble with it, you can always go back and rewatch it, uh, rewatch the other video, or rewatch that part until you've got it down. I know you guys can do it. And I'm sure you're having a great time. Um, so let's go on and look at our activity. Okay, so our activity for today is a little something different. Um, I have with me some Crayola markers. Just any, any kind of washable markers would be fine. And then I have a permanent marker. Now, if you're very little, you might need mom and dad to help you with the permanent marker just to make sure it doesn't get anywhere it shouldn't go. Uh, and then I have some paper towels. And I have an extra piece of paper here, and I'll show you why in a minute. And then this tub has a little bit of water in it. I mean, it's probably like this much water. It, there's not a lot in there, okay? And you can do this. You can put water in your sink or bathtub, and it'll work just fine the same way. All right, so with our permanent marker, I'm going to take one of my pieces of paper towel and I'm going to fold it in half, okay, like that. And then I'm going to put it on top of this other piece of paper because the permanent marker is going to go through the paper towel and we don't want to make a mess on the table. So I'm putting it on top of another piece of paper and then I'm going to draw a heart. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect heart and it's hard, a little bit hard to draw on paper towel. So I'm going to do it kind of light, and then I'm going to go back and make this really dark so we can see it really good. So go ahead and, and you can draw your heart and make it kind of dark. We want, we want it to soak through a little bit so you can see. Uh, you can see it, it soaks through a little bit and got on my paper. So we didn't want that on the table. That's why we got the paper there. Okay. Now I'm going to open this up, and I can see a little bit where... The marker is. I'm going to take my Crayola markers. Oops, I think I'm going to do some blue and purple is my favorite color. I'd like to know what yours, what your favorite colors are. Some of you all I know, like I know Layla likes purple and I know um, Justice likes blue and I know, so I know some of you guys and some of you guys I don't remember. Uh, and some of you guys change your favorite color a lot, and I can't remember because you're always changing it. All right, so look, I'm going to take my marker, and just I'm going to just make a scribbly mess. And it does not have to be perfect at all. You're just putting on some color, okay? I'm going to put some purple going this way. And I'll add some red. Now, it's, it's very messy, isn't it? Now I'm going to close this back so it looks it looks kind of white here but if I open it up it's all messy and we'll talk about what this means in a second but now we're going to take this and put it in the water and watch what happens <gasps> <Ew>. <laughs> it looks messy now we're going to give it a second and I'm going to show you what happens 
But while we're doing that, let's talk about what in the world we're doing this for. Why are we doing this? Okay? So I'm going to repeat this just so you can see and we can talk about what it all means. Well, first of all, this is like our heart. Okay? And our hearts look nice and clean on the outside. We might be able to say, I haven't done anything really, really bad. So my heart's pretty clean. There's not a lot wrong with it. Um, I don't have a lot of what we call sin, the bad things we do. But if you look closely on the inside, it's kind of messy. See, because uh, sometimes we tell lies. And sometimes we say mean things to other people. Sometimes we don't do what our parents want us to do. Those are all things that make our hearts kind of dirty with sin. So on the outside, we look good, but on the inside, we're a mess. Now this bucket of water is like God. We can see all our mistakes a lot better when we get close to God. But this is what God does. This is the first one I put in. I want you all to watch this. When I move it around a little bit, when I shake it a little bit, Oh, goodness, it's messy. Look what happened. Now, it's not perfect. It's, this, this thing is not perfect. But God does perfect work. He makes it so our hearts are completely white and clean and there is no sin attached to it. And even if I take a marker and try to mark on it, it's going to go away really fast because it doesn't stick anymore. And that's just what God does for us. He cleans our hearts like that for us so it can be perfect. And then that way we can be with him because he's perfect. So that's what um, that verse we've been learning is all about. It's all about how we get saved. And this is what it means to be saved. That we go from having a nasty, dirty heart full of sin and all the bad things we do and the good things we don't do to a nice clean heart that's perfect and it's something uh, God can be with now. And the only way this happens is when we say out loud to God and other people that Jesus is Lord, that means he's in charge, and we know in our hearts, we know it's true that he came back to life after he died. Those are the only two things it takes and, we, and we, that's all it is. So let's see what this other one Add a little bit different color. You can see my water is purple, isn't it? But if I pull this out, it's nice and white. Now, again, you can do this experiment at home. Matter of fact, I would love you to do it at home. And at home, you can see there's still a little bit of marks on there. You can tell there used to be something. But God does his work perfectly. He gets rid of it completely. So it's it, this is just to help us understand a little better. Okay? So I hope you all do this, and I do know uh, with paper towels that are a little bit thinner, you'll see uh, the color will go away even better. But I've done this several times because I think it's fun to watch it all of, all of a sudden disappear. Okay, so I'm hoping maybe in a couple more weeks we'll be able to get back together, but until then, on Sunday, we'll have another video for you. We've got a really cool story about something God did that was, it was a pretty awesome thing that he did. Uh, and some of you might have already heard the story, but that's okay. It's always good to hear them again. Um, and then on next Wednesday, we'll have one more video, but because it's a new month, we will have a new verse that we're going to start. So um, you'll have to check back in to find out what that one's going to be. Uh, until then, until we can see each other again, I hope you guys are having a great time at school. I hope you're learning lots of things. I hope you're making new friends. And most importantly, I hope you're listening so that God can show you the people who need you uh, to be a friend to them, okay? Uh, until then, I am praying for you, and don't forget, God loves you, and so do I. See you all later. Bye.